Hello, Paul Olmsten from bushcraftcanada.com. Okay, got a nice traditionally made Scandinavian knife to show you today. This is a, uh, from Karaswando in far north of Sweden. I'm probably better known for their axes actually, but they do make a nice range of knives, you know, very traditional knives. We've had quite a few in, in the past. Um, they're a small firm and so, you know, we find deliveries take a long time to come in. You know, their production is fairly low. Um, and uh, there's long lead times, so we get knives in and then we don't see them for a long time and then they come in and uh, you know so they're kind of um you know they're not readily available and, and but that's kind of nice too you know to know that the firm isn't mass producing them you know so uh it's really nice to get a delivery in from Carol Sarando again and uh, like i say they make some really nice traditional products this is a galton knife actually and we've had these in before but this is a slightly different one i'll show you why in a minute um as you can see, it's a you know fairly compact um, knife actually, and these are lightweight knives in the hand. You immediately you pick this up, you realise that these are traditional stick tang knives, so not the kind of knife you're going to use for heavy duty survival work. Um, you know, these are light camp hunting knives. You know, and they're excellent for that. You know, being lightweight <clears throat> obviously cuts down, makes them easier to handle, easier to carry, and easier to manoeuvre. And so, you know, there are advantages. Uh, definitely with that. Also it means of course you can wrap your hand around the handle without touching any metal parts. Um, so uh, like I say, so it's a lightweight knife, stick tang, uh, it's eight and a quarter inches overall length with a four inch blade. So a very nice size actually for uh, hunting and camp use. It's 3.2 mil thick stock. This is a Swedish stainless steel about 58 HRC and you can see of course what you'd expect in a knife like this a nice Scandi grind there that's a zero Scandi and uh, like I say very nicely put together it's this dark stained curly maple and um, and antler handle with a brass ferrule it's a very handsome uh, knife this and like I say very compact easy to maneuver that nice edge nice and easy to sharpen in the field you know has a lot of advantages knife like this very comfortable and what well shaped handle too does you know it's that nice there's width here in the palms so it does you get a nice grip on it um, it's an exclusive run sorry about that uh, it does come with a nice sheath with an antler fire steel and so I don't know how many of these they're actually making but uh, you can see it's a very nice quality sheath nice thick leather nicely stitched and you get that antler handle fire steel as an exclusive package. Very nicely done. So it's a great knife actually, you know, like I say, very authentic company and if you're looking for a Scandinavian style hunting camp knife, you know, these are definitely worth a look. Um, they're not made in huge numbers, um, but you know, that adds to their interest. Um, and uh, you know, they're going to be more expensive than the sort of heli type knives, um, typically knife for knife, but not that much more. And like I say, you're getting a very uh, a kind of an exclusive product where you are with this one but also a very authentic one too so anyway that's the Galton exclusive you can see them on our website bushcraftcanada.com uh, just have a look under Kara Sarando knives and as always if uh, you don't uh, see or hear the information in the videos you can just give me an email paul at bushcraftcanada.com